I'm all about just promoting the sport of paddleboarding. I think it's a, a really great, diverse sport that can uh, definitely be uh, utilized by every age group and any type of athlete or non-athlete. It's very relaxing and peaceful. You're out on the water. You have a, a good vantage point from on top of the board looking down into the water. Um, the mountains are surrounding us here. The, the lake is there. The, there's loons and birds and uh, all kinds of wildlife around here. Peace of mind, it's just a nice peaceful thing to do, uh, to get out in the water, it's nice and quiet, um, get away from the hustle and bustle of Banff. I, I really like going to kind of like shallower swampy lakes to see animals and fish and uh, it's very quiet and you get to hear all sorts of birds and stuff. People are doing races, people are running the rivers, people are doing paddleboarding yoga. Uh, it's a great core workout. Everything's engaged. Your, your shoulders are engaged, you're balancing so your legs are engaged. Uh, your core is extremely engaged, you're oblique when you're paddling and you're, you're using your paddle strokes, you're using basically every muscle in your body. There's definitely some courses that you should take. Uh, I recommend an advanced flat water course to really hone in on your uh, flat water skills and all your paddling skills, your turns, your your pivot turns, your forward stroke. I would say initially it's very affordable. Um, you can pick up a, you know, a cheaper starter board set. You don't need to go buy the best right off the bat until you're kind of getting into more of the white water stuff and then you're going to need different equipment for those needs. From moving to the lakes to the rivers, I suggest taking a course, learning about rivers, river safety. Um, they're a lot more powerful than people think and uh, they can over, overtake you pretty quickly. It's very cold and it is shocking. <laughs> um, you're gonna need uh, a wetsuit, you're gonna need a personal flotation device, a leash, and uh, that's just for the lakes. If you're getting into uh, whitewater paddling where you're going to be hitting rocks and stuff, it's a good idea to have some pads on and definitely a helmet on top of all those other things. For whitewater, I would say you definitely have to be, be a bit more fit. Um, you got to be able to move the board around and make it go where you want it to go, when you want it to go. It's an incredibly diverse sport and uh... It's just got all the potential in the world and I think uh, it's going to be here for a long time and this is just the beginning of it. It's uh, kind of the evolution right now of the sport. It's awesome. <laughs> Go try it. It's super fun.